Hello everyone, I'm Hema. My teammates are Rajat and Nikhil. Our project topic is human key point detection using convolution neural network. The presentation is divided into following section. In the introduction, we'll be giving a brief description of our project. Then we'll be describing the data set used in this project and the training methodology adopted to train the model. And then we'll be talking about the different approaches followed uh, in this project and its corresponding results. Human pose estimation aims to locate the human body parts in an image and trace its posture. The human posture is traced by detecting the key points of the human body. Here, the key points for a human body is probably his or her joints. Joints mainly forms a corner point in the human body. Hence, we can formulate this as a classic corner detection problem. The major application of this could be found in human computer interactions such as gaming, animation, virtual reality, and in sports to detect the player's movement on the ground. The dataset that we used in this project is taken from Lead Sports Pose and it is used for training and validation. It consists of 2000 pose annotated images and it is mainly gathered from Flickr and each image is scaled such that the most prominent uh, 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 length of a person is approximately 150 pixels. Each image consists of a single person and is annotated uh, with 14 joint locations. The annotations are ordered as follows, like the right ankle corresponds to annotation 1, the right knee corresponds to annotation 2, right hip corresponds to annotation 3, and so on. Uh, in order to train our model, we considered 1,800 images, and, uh, we co and corresponding to these images, there were key points consisting of x, y coordinates, and that was specifying its location on the image. The uh, output that were obtained from this uh, consists of 28 values corresponding to x, y coordinates of each key point. Then the model that is obtained is then validated against 100 images in order to uh, get the right set of hyperparameters. Then the final, in the final output, the key points uh, that were detected were paired and uh, a stick figure was drawn. Uh, I, in order to validate the accuracy of our estimation. The next part of our presentation will be carried forward by Nikhil. Yeah, thank you, Hema. Um, so in this project, uh, we are uh, basically doing two approaches. Uh, one is the baseline reset model using uh, transfer learning, and the other is using convolution neural network with two fully connected layers. In the uh, image, we are, in the slide, we are seeing the ResNet model architecture. So uh, in this ResNet model architecture, we are first feeding the image to the ResNet 50 layer. Uh, the image which we are feeding is uh, basically an RGB image. Uh, and the ResNet 50 layer has uh, pre-trained uh, image net weights for training purpose. Uh, once uh, the, the output of this ResNet 50 layer is given to two fully connected layers having uh, 512 units each. So uh, the output of this fully connected layers is then given to an output layer, which gives a column matrix of dimension 28 cross one. We see that uh, the MAE mean absolute error for ResNet training is, a, is approximately 10.52. Uh, uh, in the slide, we see the training and validation uh, 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 loss uh, through epochs. Uh, the training loss uh, uh, decreases gradually across epochs, uh, but the validation uh, loss uh, decreases gra gradually, gradually at the first, but then saturates later. Uh, here we see the examples of uh, uh, ResNet uh, uh, human pose estimation. Uh, we see that uh, uh, in the second image, uh, the, uh, where the person is uh, horizontally aligned, the model miserably, miserably fails, whereas for the other two images, the model uh, quite fair, fairly estimate uh, the human pose uh, accurately. And now I uh, hand over my slides to uh, my presentation to Rajat. Yeah, so uh, here, uh, 
uh, we can see the CNN uh, model architecture that we have implemented uh, to get the outputs. So here uh, we feed in the uh, images, uh, and these images are rescaled to uh, uh, 202 versus 202 height and width. So basically, the images itself aren't rescaled, but uh, we basically add extra borders as shown here uh, to the part of the images um, where the image is, is not up to 202. So uh, this image is then uh, bred as grayscale and then fed into the con multiple convolution layers uh, that you can see here. Uh, each convolution layer has a leaky relu activation and uh, then these convolution layers are then connected to uh, two fully connected dense layers of pi 12 units and uh, with a relu activation. So this dense layer is then connected to uh, the final layer which is output uh, consisting of uh, 28 uh, uh, units to give 28 outputs for 14 key points. So uh, coming to the training uh, of the CNN, so we can essentially see that as the as the training increases, uh, the as 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 the as the number of epochs increase, the the training loss basically reduces and the, and the validation loss also decreases initially, but then saturates off at 40 or 50 years. So we can see that the mean absolute error for this CNN is around 2.83, which is fairly uh, better than compared to the baseline uh, testnet architecture, uh, which has an MAE of about uh, 10.5. So uh, let's see how this model performs on different images. So the same set of three images are chosen here, and we can see that on oh, the first and the third image where the um, where the human subjects are in a vertical posture, the, the key points are fairly uh, estimated pretty well. And also in the in the middle picture where the human is in a horizontal position, um, we can uh, validate that uh, the key points are estimated fairly well. So coming to the conclusion, so uh, we have established that our CNN uh, performs better than the baseline ResNet architecture uh, for our leads sports post data set. Uh, so, and this model um, if it can effectively predict um, human subjects in different postures, like in a, in a, either in a moving posture, or sitting, standing, um, or sleeping, etc. So this uh, methodology can also be extended to predict human or different objects that are in motion as well uh, when we use an application such as uh, 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 different frames or uh, different videos. So with this, uh, uh, we can put our presentation. Thank you.